Dana's speech is surprising, titled, Get an Attitude. Okay. What attitude do you bring with you? No matter where you go, your attitude comes with you, and it can make or break your day. Dana believes that by seeing the positive in each situation, not only will your life improve, but so will the lives of those around you. So please help me welcome Dana with Get an Attitude. You looking at me? Talk to the hand. Whatever. Do you recognize that attitude? Do you know people with that attitude? Maybe you have had that attitude. I know that I've had that attitude. And it hasn't served me well. Has it served you? I don't think that everything is always cheery. And I don't think that everything is always going to go right. Bad things happen to good people. So that means every single person in this room, something bad is going to happen to them. But that doesn't mean we have to carry that negativity with us every place we go and lay it on the next person we run into. It's true, bad things happen. But that little saying about a silver lining used to bug me. Oh, there's always a silver lining. What the heck does that mean? Ah, there's my attitude. Let me tell you a quick story. Several years ago, I went to a pastor's conference in Uganda. Uganda, a small country in the middle of Africa. Very poor. I went there because my friend was teaching. And I thought, Uganda, why not? Off I went. There were people who came to this conference that walked three miles to get there. Three miles with no shoes. I don't know about you, but I know that most Americans don't want to walk three blocks with $200 tennis shoes on. These people were so grateful to be at that conference after walking three days with no shoes. Kind of makes your perspective on life a little different. Sometimes things just go wrong on a daily basis. Unexpected things. Maybe you're driving to a Toastmaster meeting. You're going to give the speech of your life. You get a flat tire. Granted, this is an incredible inconvenience. You may have to reschedule your speech. <laughs> but be grateful. There's air in the spare. <laughs> be grateful you have a car to get a flat on. How many people would be really happy to have that car? <laughs> and be grateful that you listened to your mom who said, renew your AAA membership. So that guy can get his hands dirty and you don't have to because you're wearing your best suit for that mega presentation you're giving. Be grateful for the little things. Sometimes people in our lives touch us in a really positive way. Do we think about that? Or do we think about the fact that, ooh, they were mean once, or oh, they left the dog out, and they forgot to feed it, or they gave me a cat? OK, that's inexcusable. But <laughs> there are so many positive things that people bring to us that we can appreciate instead of thinking about all the negative things. When I carry around a bad attitude, I know for me, things don't go as well. There's this thing about vibrations. I don't know, has anyone heard about vibrations? Back in the day, 
we'd go, I got a good vibe from that guy. I thought, that's kind of like a groovy way of saying he was cool or something. The fact is, there are vibrations in the world. And when we are positive and hopeful and happy, we put out really good vibrations. There was a song about that. Maybe we should rewrite it. <laughs> You're too young, Renee. You don't remember. <laughs> <laughs> But it has a real and honest impact on us. When we come into a room and we're positive and we're upbeat, our attitude towards others will reflect back on us. I know that I've been to meetings and I've been a little on the grumpy side. Things haven't gone exactly my way that day. But once I get to the meeting and things start happening, Wow, my attitude completely turns around. And by the end of the meeting, you know what? My life's pretty doggone good. Why was I that concerned about that small thing that actually I gave the power to ruin my doggone day? Think about the people and the things that are going on in your life today. No, they're not all perfect. Everything isn't going fantastically every moment. But what attitude are you bringing to your moments? What attitude are you sharing with the people around you, especially those you love and you care about? When your spouse or significant other or just that person you kind of like, they show up, oh my gosh, they're five minutes late. Does that ruin your entire time with that person? Because you know what? That person may never be back at your doorstep again. Be grateful for that moment. Be grateful for what you may have learned and heard from them and felt from them. Your attitude has everything to do with how you look at life and how life reflects back on you. You can change somebody else's life with your attitude. I'm just saying, get an attitude. <laughs>